start do this. Cause my body don't really used to it no more. Um, we get drunk easier. So it seemed like me I drink more. But this is a second drink, I mean I don't need and me, me unlikely for don't Because first of all I'm glad I never showed the bottle because I don't feel bad. I never drink pipe cleaner yet, but I assume that's how it is. The boy JJ is a wicked. Because he tell me, so it's smooth. And he know what smooth tastes like in my bartender. He's a wicked boy. You see why, you see why I'm here for him? He not nice. He tricked me. Because he never want to mix it and he tell me it's not ice now there. No, you tell me this. Who doesn't have ice? <laughs> and he give me the sitting. Raw dog, my throat and tell me, so lick my lip, that are the best condo. But that is, you know. The area is so we comfortable at talk. I don't mean to talk about me, so we too comfortable. Me if it, I want to pull back from the comfort and shrink the, the, the safe space there a little bit, because it's too broad. The safe space gone beyond safety now and then. Uh, carelessness. Look, listen to him and talk to me like that. I joke, I don't care. I <laughs> don't care. Oi. I have to shift it up because I tell you about me. I must have contract. So I must need salt now. I need salt, so. I have to go get some salt. You know, say salt take away muscle contract like instant, right? Does that. Like if you drink some salt water as strong as you can take it. And it and it, it go away. Instant. But I have to go include things in my diet for give me what that, whatever that need. But I start eat healthier. I may actually make a soft commitment to start go gym so that me actually more me need to become more more um me not try to be fit for me like completely fit like me not try to be aesthetically fit me just need to be healthier so that me can keep up with these kids when me, when when me go pick them up at school and the pick them say your grandma is here to get you <laughs> you can actually grab them up. But it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. Keep them away from these things. Um, it means that I have to go. I have to go sterilize the spirit. First of all, I have to get rid of my clutter. But I have to sterilize the spirit because I don't want no, none of them to sit there in there. No phone. No TV near them. For the first couple of years. So, right now, I practice the no phone. I lock off me, sim, and chaos, I end soup on my WhatsApp, where are you? Where are you? Listen, by the way guys, I don't answer no WhatsApp message them because you know so don't just say hi and bye, it's going to make long conversations and I'm not scrolling down so don't assume that I see your message and ignore it, I just say I have a lot of messages. Um, but sometimes we just need breaks, you know, and I learn to take them. May I learn to take them like sometimes we even need a break from myself. I may I learn to take the break. Because if I don't, um things go wrong, you know, like physiologically and psychologically. So just may I ask you to be very understanding if any of my friends are here where I try to get in touch with me. I lock off my sim. So if you call me straight, you know get me none tall. Um we just need time. We need time for my mind. Time for my body. Time for establish new habits as my try for dismantle old ones. Do I meditate? No. I can't still my mind. I, I, I can't get my mind to shut up. I can't get my mind to shut up at all. But in the process of trying to create new things will serve me better in this phase of my life it means that i have to avoid as many distractions as possible and the phone is the biggest one and since i lock off the phone i feel so good i mean no you want that fear friend you have to want that fear friend but what that for you um less active for the socials i will just post something and go off back um 
it works. We like it. We like it very much. I'm going to put away the phone and it feels like I don't miss it. And then I pick it up and I feel like, why am I picking it up? I felt so be so much better a while ago when I didn't have it. So it's very easy to put it one side and not look at it at all. I'm very a weirdo of the people in my life who are very close to me. And that makes me pick it up. And look and check, and check on them and say hi to them and stuff. But outside of that, don't get mad. Don't get mad. If you try to link me and you don't get me, just know say. It means, eh, may I get better? Um, whatever your definition of better is, may I get better? Um, me need, my brain want to breathe, you know? Like, my creative process need a rejuvenation of inspiration. And it not upon this. I don't get no inspiration from this uh, instrument at all. Not one. I don't get from this. Um, in fact, I think I think social media more so kind of be, besides having friends like Papa Robbie who introduced me to new terms like intergluteal cleft and verbal pugilist. For the most part, social media shrinks vocabulary and dulls wits because it reduces us to to shorten attention spans and because it reduces us to slangs and abbreviations and less thought like everything is a quick but not really not not really involving any wit it make it dumber it, I've observed that over the last maybe decade and a half. It siphons away creativity. Yes, Randy, it does. It does. You lock off your phone and, and let it go enough time so you know that you can see the contrast of when you're in a non-phone phone space, how you function versus when you're in the phone space. Um, I'm much less efficient when I'm in a phone space. When I come out of the phone space, I get shit done. Lots of shit. I mark you. So even when I'm in phone space, I'm still getting shit done. I'm, I, I, I feel, I really feel annoyed by myself when I'm idle. I don't like being idle. But I'm actually hitting a lot more of my goals when I put the phone away. Because the phone is a distraction. And if I, if I have a thought process... I serve it best by just sticking to it until I'm done. And if something breaks my concentration, it's hard for me to get back to it. So I have a whole heap of uh, open-ended things that just things and things and things that don't get done. Um, and it means I need away from phone time. But also, I just want my mind back. I'm a peace, I'm a laughter, I'm a fun self. I want you there to but just sit on and laugh, you know, you know, make the joke catch me up, you know. And the internet would seek to destroy that because everybody on the internet is looking for... I think people are looking for your worst so they can feel better about their bad. So they will highlight everything. Thank you. SK Caterers. They will highlight everything that they call negative about you and most of it isn't negative they just try to find something you know and then people are looking for attention and they realize that there are many more people just like them out there who only gravitate towards the negative things so they share negative things to feed the other people like themselves and those people feed them and it's just a cycle of negativity and you get Sometimes it's easy to get caught up in it because you forget that that is not a real space. I mean, it's real in a sense because it exists, real, real because it exists, but not real because it's not true. So, it's necessary for, for have a, a little gadget detox sometimes. 
and especially when I intend to bring people into the world who I'm hoping will not be impacted by these things then me don't want me, me don't want to impact them while them are come so from the moment we start this process this I forgot to um we want me some on because we, we we actually have really good discussions and I really appreciate them and we come fair we go through a lot of different phases we come from war all out down and out dirty fighting to more peaceful discussions karma and I have grown as a result of my exposure to some of you and I appreciate it and not just the good ones but the bad ones too because me see myself me get a chance for you know, like it's a different kind of mirror hold up and I, I have a chance to see myself in another light. And I have um, benefited from using that to grow. I may appreciate it very much. But my pastor feels there, I mean, I feel like we need that no more. And so I'm going to take a break from that too. If you're in a life, we will still correspond. If you're never in a life, it will become evident that you may not be like. Um, that has happened for I love you, see me. Love you. I love the really neat gadget. Um, love transcends everything. Um, I love you so much that I'm put some more love in that world. And you live here, so you will benefit from it. Right? Yeah. And then, when we take our road, we see each other. Because prior to me getting big, big, I got up on the road. When we, get, when we start show, to the point we can't hide it no more. We remember when we never used to have phone, Sunday we missed that your frig. I remember when we only had a house phone, when somebody called and get you, you were not available and then go on about them business and go live their life. Then we get cell phone and people expect you to answer every time. Like, So hold on. When I only had a house phone and you called, you accepted that I was busy or unavailable in some way. Now that I have a cell phone, you think I'm never busy again? You think I, I got a new phone and became an idler? You expect me to answer every time. Now, if everybody who calls me gets an answer, when the fuck would I live? How would I live? People get so angry. When you're not available to them all the time. You can't be available to people all the time. You need to be available to you. You cannot be available to other people all the time. You can't. You just can't. TV used to sign up. Listen, you know how much time me balance and me miss the good old days when me never have no choice? Because now I have no choice. Do you know me lie down sometimes? Me lie down in my bed and decide to, alright, I'm going to try to watch something nice and calming for go to sleep. And spend the whole time I search and I find out <laughs> too many choices. Can't make up my mind. Like, there's too much. Back when we had t JBC, you just have to watch what they put on and then you go harass men. And that is it. You get more rest, you wake up refreshed, you go about your business. No. Whole <laughs> mm. mm. night. That is no life. That is no life. Uh, the good old days. Me never know me that I said that. I swear me never know me that I said that because me never be like, bring it on, technology, but fuck technology. I mean, sorry technology, I'm on you right now. <laughs> Piranha, we just did a talk to Chris Ross yesterday, you know, we yeah, are yeah, work out time. Well, go on. No chat to you long this. Me say Sunday? No, nah, Jesus. You would like no girl. I sit down and listen to myself and I say, when I turn in my mother, because I hear myself and say the things like, I want back Sunday. I've been complaining that I want back Sunday for more than 10 years. I just want back Sunday. I want, you like it? All right, good, be glad. I want back Sunday. Sunday used to be the day when, Sunday used to be family. We used to play out the door games. We used to have fellowship together because Dinner time was family bonding time. Sunday matinee time was family bonding time. Even breakfast and cook, cooking dinner 
was family bonding time because we did it together. Somebody have the job for greater the coconut. Somebody, oh God, don't mention no story because my mother didn't love that shit. Somebody have a greater coconut. Somebody have to pick the peas. Somebody have to do something that we did all have one little part for play. Right? We have a greater the carrot for the carrot juice and the beet or whatever. Everybody have a part for play. Whether you go shred the cabbage, because you don't know, say, poor people's salad is finely shredded cabbage and finely grated carrot. And that, you know, go, somebody now do that. You're going to get a little knuckle skin in it, because a greater, you should have put a little bit if you do it. And I'm like, eh, but you don't eat there any fuck you, you're going to eat that. Um, that was bonding too. We used to have boiled card around the table and we play ship seal, seal fast and then rub baby card. But it didn't feel like we involved in a subtle. It didn't feel like we all had do something together. Even when you lose. It didn't feel nice. We don't have that again. Everybody got to take up them food off of the table or out of the fridge and go pop it in the microwave and then Come sit down in the couch and eat it while I watch TV by themselves or they go back in the room with their headphones on or earplugs in. No human contact. So they did. We used to go sit down outside and I look up at them come on the wall, some, somebody wall, together. Uh, we play hopscotch and mother bay eye and all these things together. And when the, the, the little man a pass, fudge with the puka puka puka. A pass, we take a look at change them together and we try to negotiate with Fudgy to get one bigger thing than the money we have. That was Sunday. Sunday was actually a recent day for family and it was fellowship and bonding. We used to have that. We do not have that anymore. We don't have that anymore. I miss that. We miss it. I, like, I'm, not this, I'm not trying to dictate to other families that they should want to treat like that in the shit. I'm bad. And when they watch me, I still eat jump and you can't see me move. But I can't tell other people that they need to come back come do things with me. But I want that back for myself. So we already started taking Sunday back. My friend said a decade ago or more when me complained that I want back Sunday. My daughter would never then trace me off and say I can't make it all. And then one day in the out of the blue I kill him. I Kelly Bill back Sunday. Cause Kelly was like, listen, me I go cook. And this is in lockdown time. Where we could have gone away and we used to figure places. And she say, hey, we don't just go be in and put on the good clothes, you know, cause we're gonna eat. Farmer. Like, okay. <laughs> be in and put on the good clothes like all of us. And we did. Well, I did. JJ come from work and she just show him the pre and him say, and that I go on, yeah, man, we can't do that, man. I'm going and I'm going to be in and put on the butt down and come out and we sit down on the table and just put out the place settings and go you know, with three course. Our, our appetizer and our bean and our um, dessert. Make drinks and something. And it was just, to be honest with you, the way it felt. We, we don't have no words to describe it. That a simple thing like that could have, yes, bring back Sunday, maybe sit ready, maybe Sunday. Maybe Sunday so much. Girl, I have so much to tell you. I'm going to tell you something, I'm going to laugh. But me not care. <laughs> I, mean, I think me tell you, me tell you, she, she don't laugh at that, not me, I tell you. But maybe Sunday, I remember my auntie used to live around that. I have an auntie, my, my favorite auntie, my favorite of all of my mother's siblings. We we'll still keep Sunday me like that. Favorite of my mother siblings who died. She used to live in a vineyard town. And when we went to visit her, we can't remember Sunday dinner. And then out the door, pan the wall. And the, when the ice cream man passed, we get a little fun, shall we? Oh, Jesus, man. That was so good. And the couple neighbor kids, they will come out for buy the ice cream and while we eat ice cream and stuff we get family like a fellowship together we don't know each other we are going to go home from some holiday and go back to wherever we come from we go back a country and but for the moment while we're there so in a summer yeah? and it's hot as hell and we out the door fudgy 
Yeah, I take some uh, one icy clean on a hot sun, Sunday. I heaven that, man. Heaven. And we lost stuff like that. We lose the Sunday Matinee. We lose all of these things where we think we didn't win, but we didn't. We lost. We lost. And it's, I've been attacked from a religious perspective. Don't get me wrong. But not talk, this this intersect every social group, whether you be religious, whether you're not, which, which no matter which part you want to segregate yourself go. The fact is we lost the thread. We lose the thread, man. And we keep complaining about the outcome of all the things that we did. Like <laughs> this have a problem with we who are get older that we are not blameless in our outcome. We're not. When we gave up church, we lost the the things around it. Well, kind of, yes. And I am guilty. I'm guilty of that, of, of being a big a part of that, big part of that process in my life. Cause I, but I gave up church since I was about 11. And I still did all the Sunday things. So I don't know. For me, for me that isn't it. Because I gave up church. But I was still present for great, great in coconut. I was still present for rice and peas and chicken. I was still present for the fudge and the icicle and the ice cream cake and the nutty body. I was still present for all of that. I was still present for one, two, three red light. So it's not that. I think it's, it's more than that. It's, it's, it's beyond that. It's, it, let me tell you what it is. It was when we decided to become more efficient. More efficient because Sunday is the day that we took for respite. Sunday is the day that we, we got to reset. And we decided that, look, there's nothing in Sunday. Instead of me having to rush to go to the bank Monday to Friday, why don't we make Saturday and Sunday available too? And instead of me having to go to supermarket, remember supermarket is a close on a Sunday. You know? Sunday was the day when you everything stopped. And you just chill. Sunday, say, you had a choice not to church, go to church at 11. Yes. I just, what day we just said to my mother, we don't want to do this. And she was like, all right. She went to church, but she wasn't somebody who will buy a church and say, you have to go. We didn't go because it was a tradition. And I, when I didn't see myself there anymore, I just didn't go. And for years I wandered around and I said I don't have no God and I, I yeah she she was cool in some ways and not so cool in some but we learned to appreciate her as as we get older and the more we appreciate her. But you know um yeah Randy it was commerce and greed. It was corporate greed, it was collective greed. That decided we don't make enough money from Monday to Friday. Let's throw it because remember Saturday was still a, a, a busy day, but not as busy as Monday to Friday because some most processes were still not available on a Saturday. And then the Seventh Day Adventist worship on a Saturday, and then you have all the Sunday people on a Sunday. Um, so Saturday was busy for market and supermarket, but that was it. A market and supermarket really didn't interfere with the respite. It didn't. But then we decided that we need full-blown covers. We never used to have dance on Sunday. Dance on Sunday would have been sacrilege. It would have been sacrilege. But we decided that. And when I say we, I'm not blaming anybody in particular. I'm saying we as a collective because I put myself in there. Sunday was for church. And even if you don't want to go to church, the fact is, so there was for church, give them the day. Because church is a part of the respite. It's a reset. But we took Sunday and we started to compete with the church. Um, which most people don't go to church, you know. It's a minority go to church, you know. But we like to think that we do our worship internally. So you are going to hear Grace Chilla as I ring out the whole Sunday. I used to love Sunday because Sunday was like an echo chamber. Sunday, the place was still, 
that if a pig drop you, I go hear it echo guard up the road. I be like that. Be learn, be grow up and realize that we miss the fuck out of that. Right now, we can't hear myself think every card of dies. Noise pollution is our biggest problem, but we don't realize it's a problem. We we can't even think straight because we don't get the quiet time within which to think. You can't hear yourself think. When was the last time you have a clear thought? Whenever I get interrupted by one of the thought and one, and one external um, distraction. We don't, we don't know if you think straight again. And, and it, it is reflected in society because look, no critical thinking skills available. Places like Jamaica have zero. They will war over them order well being. Somebody will war you, literally war you, for the right to suffer. <laughs> that that have to come at the expense of critical thinking skills. If you were thinking critically, you would never do that. If 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 you didn't work with, if you don't work from a common sense base, you wouldn't do that. And and you get to the point where even the people who, even the people. Who so called bright, book bright, world dumb, street dumb. So we, we, we're trading complete now. That we're trying to be robots, we humanity gone, we don't connect with each other, our bonding processes have all been terminated. And we have fight for keeping that way there for making it worse. And it's like, I want to give back. Everything, everything will begin from losing Sunday. More and get back, forget back Sunday. But just want back Sunday. More, more Jim Reeves for play Lord again. You have to have headphone and earplug or make a country flex for peace of mind. Which country? Because of all the relative peace, you're gonna find a country. Me live a country and me not have the kind of peace. Me, me, me fought in it, you know, for living in our space way. If me go all the way to the back. Mina, mina your world, the world that exists. Why don't everybody have the ability to do that? You have to take yourself off a of main road and go off road and then go off the off road into the bush. Forget some peace and quiet. Because people seem to be afraid of silence. People don't want to be alone with their thoughts. People don't want to think. People, for some reason, people just don't like silence the more. So every every silent moment they try to find something for for put a sound in it. And it's not nature sounds. Like if they be not gonna put up some wind chime, it wouldn't bad. They now look for nothing like that. They want to hear noise. They want to hear noise and chaos. Some people can't fall asleep unless they hear gunshot and siren. Some other people they want to hear one sound up play. And one of the weirdest things to me to see one sound string up a play right next right like right in our own community. And granted, you know, these things sound like hypocrisy I come out of a mouth to me, you know, because I work in music. I work in entertainment. And these things benefit me commercially, but then then they don't benefit me personally. So so it's like you you gain, you know, on the one hand. With the covers, you gain materially. But on the other hand, you lose. So you, you're taking it and giving it out. But this hand is so much bigger because you lose way more. And then you have to work, go work harder for try to earn more, for try to compensate for this. But there's money can't compensate for the personal things where you lose. And people usually say, oh, you can't say that because you blah, blah. They trust me. They have the, they have the looks, you have contrast. I know what I feel like for not half things, and I know what I feel like for half things. And me personally, no say, no matter how you want to pretend to having things made an improvement on your psychological and emotional well being, I tell you, I tell you, I tell Because if you things away again, cannot compensate for the multitude of things where you lose. It can't, it just can't. You can't lie, no. And you can lie convincingly. I'm not going to debate with you. Because you're going to get the benefit of the doubt because of your life. But me and you know, just look for me and just wink. Me and you know, say lie at all. You lose way more than you gain. It's like as a society, we create, we create a space where we make room for criminality. 
we make room for criminality in a some very simple ways. Like, for example, we'd rather spend on security than spend on prevention. We'd rather we on a personal level we do that, you know. We complain when government do it, but we do it on a personal level. See now, you live in our community and you can impact the kids in the community. But you say, I don't mind picking them. So me don't care. So they have poor education. You just ship your kids go to another community. Go get a better education. Instead of remaining here and investing in what you have here. You say, eh, eh, put my opinion on this. And we do that. We do that. And then the people them from either the community were more repressed, grow up, exposed to different elements because we never safeguard them from that because we didn't want to invest in them. And then they, some of them turned criminal. So we, we, we spend the money to put on the grills and the cameras and get the security. The same money they could have invested in them when they were younger. Or less, maybe half of that. Because now you have to go constantly invest in your security. You could have invested in them just once. Help them have a better facility for learning. Build better schools. Demand more from your politicians. Stop defending them when people hold them accountable. Say put money in the school so that the people them can get pay the teacher them more. Give the teacher better resources for work with. Train the teachers better. But we never want that. We didn't want that. What we wanted was minimum individual successes. We didn't want to be able to look for the rest of the community and say, be better than you. And we do that. Some of we do it subconsciously. Some of we do it consciously. I've had conversations with people who, who actually express that literally to me. Say, this is how I will spend all of my money by university. So that we can separate, so we can, we can be obviously different from the masses. I mean, look at them like, how weak are you that you need that? Like, how big is the size of your inferiority complex? For you to need that, to make you feel good about yourself, for, be, for you to for have to see your next man and suffer, in order to feel like you are succeed. Why your success are relative to somebody else's failure? Why your success can simply be relative to your goal where you set? But that is what we do, you know. That is what we do. And we kill Sunday. Sunday would not be the day when you're not, you're not calm enough and quiet enough and your brain would not receptive enough to a conversation for we to discuss this. But you kill Sunday. And everything will come with Sunday. So obviously, we, are, we get what we get. And then you complain about these kids. You said the kids, they mash up the world. All the kids that can mash up the world, they're not in charge of nothing. They're not in charge of anything. They're not, they're not creating a policy. They don't write the laws. They don't, they don't have no, no input at all in the creation or upkeep of this system of things within which we live. They just always are rebel. That's all they want to rebel against the system. We don't work for them at all. Because we kill Sunday. We kill Sunday. We kill community. We kill fellowship. Feel like I would love to get to know you and be a yard man so you have me in the night. Oh, he. We are get to do the first. See me all right, that's what I talk. We are talking, so. But we kill Sunday, we kill the personal things, and we kill relationships. And people like me guilty too, you know. Guilty of folk. And me, me accept me guilt. Because, unfortunately, most times when we, we try to right one wrong, we end up creating some other wrongs in the process. And what are the... What are the the biggest conflicts in my life and in my own psychological development. So in order for me to feel safe as a woman, I have to come out and fight as a as an unwitting feminist, fight 
to, to feel some kind of synthetic security because it's not real because you know what I'm going there so and in the process of fighting to establish myself and, and, and establish perimeter and try to create some sense of security I undermine the very fabric of the thing where me a seek forget I mean uh, it's a mind fuck It is. You get you get what you get. Um, but we can try. We can try if we go back and do things. Me, we try for for reclaim my Sunday. Cause on a Sunday we really like for chill and sit with my little family unit. And talk like humans. And we try our best to stay off of the phone. Sometimes me and the one who broke the code car. If we do anything like karaoke and something, we end up go live. Um, I have to stop that too. But, you know, in the human condition, if right one wrong, we end up a create 50 other wrongs. It's like, if you take, for example, the feminist movement. Me, personally, me, me, me have a lot of gratitude for feminists because they create space for me. They fight for safeguard things for me. But then when we look back on it, it's like, how much of them things are? But what bad enough to sacrifice the things that we lose? But what family? But what the security and stability of family? I never used to think I want it because... It comes with so much pain. But I think, me think me just don't want the bad things about it. I want one good version of it. I do. But how you end up? How you get that? How you get that? Like, uh, let me show you something. In fighting to establish domi uh, well, not dominance. Everything good, by the way, I will have reasoning. In fighting to, to reclaim safety and security and space and reclaim autonomy humanity because the, the, the because the injustices meted out to us as a group or women as a group were so grave we had to fight a woman before me who fought to give me the strength to fight um they had to attack. They had to attack the atrocities with almost or maybe equal venom. And then what we get from that? Like, if I look at myself as, as, as we say, we're reluctant feminists, because we don't really like. I don't like labels, I just don't. I mean, I feel like we need to belong to no particular group. Um, but if I look at myself as a reluctant feminist, fighting, fighting to establish space in this patriarchal world, people don't like these cliche terms, but change the world and then the terms won't apply and we'll stop using them. Um, but we fight. We fight because unfortunately we give birth to sons who grow up to hate women. I don't know why. I mean, there are many different explanations offered, but none of them really quite. I mean, they're all theories at this point. None is proven. But for some reason, men fucking hate us. And in order to survive among them in this world, we end up almost becoming them. Me, me, me personally, as a little girl, I love laugh. All of my high school friends and primary friends can tell you. I laugh till the joke reach. Laughing is my go-to <laughs> response to everything. Laughing are my defense mechanism. I'm a coping skills. Laughter. I may end up come out of the laughter and I, I, I develop a hard shell. Just for me able to pretend to be safe. 
because the world is so dangerous to me. And then when you do that, you create one persona. We're projected to the world and everybody sees that. And unfortunately, people react to that. As they would, you can't blame them. This is what they see. So you paint yourself in a corner and the paint just don't fucking dry. <laughs> you can't imagine every time I have a personal conversation, people quote my song them back to me. Like, the, you, you immortalize a moment forever. You made me the artist I am. I'm, I'm your inspiration. Thank you. That is an honor. I hope you're a good person. If I inspired you to be who you are, I hope that's a good person. But, picture say, in trying to be safe, you create one space for yourself where even less safe than before. Maybe we don't have nobody physically attacked because they know, say, let's be real. They have the resources for hurt your back really bad. I do. So nobody don't go physically come after me. Right? Less likely for physically come after me because that comes with repercussions. So if you even hurt me, you, you, you think more than likely. My people are going to hurt your back. And hurt your people them, and, and more. And to escalate. Because we know the world is it. So in trying to protect myself from harm. The create one hard. The create one avatar way. Hard, right? And that make good people run away. And because it's a hard shell, because it rough, it attract bad people. But bad people who more strategic. So you end up a create one space so even less safe. Because though you can't tell the physical person you could have seen come from a mile. <laughs> you you can't see the pussy world. You don't always like you over time you develop certain tools and certain abilities. Sense of discernment sharp. But you really can't tell for sure every single time that this is an asshole. I remember you know, me and evolve and the asshole are evolved too. So some evolve and we create new tools with which we combat them. So they evolve and create new tools with which we attack me. So it means say, you know, the same process where you you fight so hard. Like, me I join up with every group where invite me for work with them. Yes, Anthony Malva, big of his brother. Every group where invite me for work with them, I'm a check and I don't see nothing on the surface because we can't tell like guys if you see me work with people and you know say about bad people just trust me say me don't know because if me know say about bad people me don't work with them if me know they hurt you me don't work with them me don't do it if you see me near them me don't know but don't know <laughs> and we create this we create one piece of world if we live in a way. It doesn't benefit nobody. Either. It doesn't. If you look for the world in a material, superficial way, then you think it'll benefit people because some people out there uh, uh, hoard more material things. But the reality is that it really doesn't benefit the other way. Because if you look at, if you look at, like, like, look beyond the superficial, look beyond the shallow. And look at the lives of the people where you think benefit the best, the most superficial. Look for it. Just look closer. Be, 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 be a challenge if you look closer. If fraught with peril. Fraught with peril. And I'm not saying that's why you shouldn't go after superficial things. I'm telling you that everybody suffers equally. I tell you, I the human condition because of this system that we've developed for ourselves. This are the system where we decide so we want to live in a and it's a kill we and we don't stop. It literally a kill we. We don't stop. We show you we show you from we can use Udo as an example. 
If you don't get some evil time, I say, I read the story. Because more encourage the parents to follow me. I'm using the word follow loosely. But I encourage parents to read to them. I hug them and kiss them and tell them so they love them and put them to bed. And sometimes I still guess I read to three and four people and five people. I can't promise you this right now if one conflict jump off. And I still guess I'll vent. 300 people. <laughs> I'll go up to 1,000. And it don't make me sad, so I don't want to hear the story, you know, because I don't feel me. I can't read. I can't read to myself, man. I don't pick it. And when I do, this pregnant thing what I'm going to do, <laughs> this pregnant thing what I'm going to do, I read to them, pick them already. They've never come in here to me start reading to them already. So, I don't myself, I do it for I'm not doing it for me. I love you too. <laughs> I love you too, Tareen. I do it for me though. So when me, me come and me read story, I say, hey, make me, make we, make we, make we start one new, make we start one new, um, develop a new habit, a good habit. Bad say it to everybody, but it, that if you're always here, it would mean sometimes you're one of five. <laughs> But make we start develop some new habits were good. And nobody turns up for that. So when we every time when the hero does sit down and complain about by the world be, hey, bail up on everybody like hypocrite. I laugh, bail laugh after all you know. Like you don't mean that. I know you don't mean that. Cause you don't turn up for nothing good. If you if you don't come here at all, then this is not about you. But if you turn up here, every time there is something that could be considered negative. I read it's Yubi. Yubi, are Yubi Japanese that? Right? Big up yourself. If every time something ne negative happens, you turn up. And every time something positive is happening, you don't turn up. Then look no further. You are the problem. It's not a judgment. It's just an observation. So if you're looking to solve that problem, see that it just became easier. You don't know why you change your modus operandi, change your emo, change the way you do things. You know, I don't know big changes either. <laughs> I'm not a judge. Believe it. But just I say, if you really want a better world like you claim, you know, instead of you don't judge youths them, music. <laughs> As an indication of how terrible they be. Oh God, I never mash up the world. Mash up the world, you know. Because even though, even though you didn't breed for their father out of wedlock, you know. And you breed for one next man give them sibling and one next man give them sibling. I know you, I them one problem, you know. I know you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, a dovey. Where are you in Juju? I care you. <laughs> I could you, young, young, Jesus Himself. I know you have a problem. When we talk about them, something I make me show that joke. But I like it. I like feel good. We can do better. We can, all of we. Like, me, me, me search, me search for my hypocrisy then. Come here, them too, you know. Um, if you say you want X and then you behave Y, search for them there and try to make your, 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 your thoughts and your words and your actions align. Because that's a true we have. And that's a true we have, you know. The fact say, with actions and with words. What we claim our intention, we don't really align with them. So, we can do different. We can. And there's nothing stopping us. We're going to always pretend to say, government, and the church, and the teacher, them, and the parents, them, and everything except we. But really and truly, 
every problem we have in this world can solve in one generation if we decide to be honest. We just don't like it. But don't know why we so like. We like. We can always look around for somebody else to please. Look, right now, Jamaica is very divided. Right now, every single topic is polarizing everything everything is political in jamaica right now we just hear the opposition leader talk the other day and granted we don't have, we don't have decided to label me as pmp <laughs> that's on you um i am a jamaican incidentally and the opposition leader point out <laughs> liar <laughs> the opposition big up shannon mark the opposition leader pointed out uh conflict of interest in the fact that the speaker of the house is the wife of the prime minister now everybody say but you already already approved it yes because he thought and they all thought that she would dispense with her responsibilities without bias but when you start seeing her at work and realize no man this bitch is biased that is where they'll come back and be like eh, eh, we were wrong she needs to go and the people, Jamaican people are like, but you decide off, but it, yes. Yes, he, he made a mistake. And now we need to correct it. Are you saying that because you make a mistake, you should, you, you're no, no, you know, you've given up the right. You've given up the right to correct it. In the making of a mistake, you automatically sign over your right to correct it. And that's what I say. May I look at the comments about the newspaper and we say, Jesus Christ. But we don't know where good I go. We can't go. We, I, we get fucked. And it's not even the kind of way I got enjoy. You know, turn down and you know, don't lube. If, the, if it is the job of the lady, I don't even care about the incident, you know, I just listen to the argument. Then. If you see the Minister of Finance come in the Parliament and preach a piece of sermon, I look at him like, you're such a pussy, holy. <laughs> you know, say like, you know, say I fuck real, keep up, you know? But because you, these guys have collectively dumbed down the Jamaican public so far down that all they need to do is come and speak in the Queen's vernacular and everybody's impressed. You just need to speak in the, and speak with the authority. So if you come out and you confidently say a bag of shit, it's no longer shit, it's no confident shit. And Jamaicans are really, really impressed by confident shit spoken in the Queen's vernacular. I want to scare a place with it. So he's saying, the, the opposition leader is saying, that's the Prime Minister's wife. Because the problem is predicated on her having a bias as a result of being his wife. It needs to be said. It has to be said. It is not misogynistic. I am a feminist. This woman is not. This, that woman where we are defending against, um, against misogyny, it's the same woman who went on Twitter and said women need to go get the education so man can stop beating them. <clears throat> same woman. She don't give a fuck about we gender. She's not one of us. She's not being attacked. She's not under attack. The statement is, as a result of being his wife, it appears she carries a bias. You can't say... She was the deputy speaker for two years because that is not relevant to this problem. The problem arises from her having a seeming bias attached to her position as wife. So you have to fucking say wife. You have to say wife. You must have more than compound have to say wife. And everybody's like, this disrespectful is calling her wife. Like, so she's not your wife. She's your wife. Come, come on. What's she your wife? Baby mother? Because I'm guessing come out and go say baby mother. Like you guys are, oh my God, not easy. Easy. Oh my God, not easy. But I see the problem with ourselves, you know? Because we can't tell you this. The PNP come in, and Mark can do the same thing, and the PNP are going to do and back him. Just the same. Because you know how oh, I know? I experienced this on the other side. Yep. When the PNP was in, and they did stuff, and I talked about it. Ooh, they didn't like that. So see when you see the people I'm gonna rise up they'll be like, oh my god, he called her his wife. This is delusional. The people, the people, the people. What is this? What is this? She have a duty. 
I have a responsibility and obligation or job. And it is called into question whether or not she is performing these duties without bias. When the bias, when there becomes a question of a bias, we look for the root of that problem, right? And at the root of it lies the fact that she's married to the man who is being questioned. Conflict of interest. Conflict of interest. So you can't say, just like if you don't apply for one job at the FBI, and then they realize, oh, your husband used to sell drugs. Can't do it. Oh, your husband a criminal. Can't do it. You, you've lost this job because your wife, you are wife. That is why you lost the opportunity to get that job. It, 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 it is very relevant. And it needs to be said. There are people out there so a war. Oh my God. You could refer to her as wife as is, that is all she is. No, that's not all she is. But that's all that seems to be creating the problem. And the problem the man discuss. Oh, Jesus. All right. Um, maybe if you go sleep on off, cause oh god, <laughs> I am very Jamaican and I love my yacht. I have to say that a million times a day to affirm that, because it's easy for that get undermined. I'm mean, in a run with. I love my yard. It's my yard. It's so easy. I may mean, have to remind myself every day to be one good person, cause it's easy for hurt. It's very easy for hurt. It's easy to take advantage of. Or to present to yourself on a platter without a plate on the boat like the roast pig with garnish road. I say, use me. It's easy. You have to get up every day and remind yourself and say your affirmations. I am a good person for no fuck with up because of the big feet. Any politician will come in and go fuck with up. Any politician, I promise you this. They could have been Jesus. If Jesus didn't run for election, don't you say win? <laughs> Even I told Satan. Because I don't make it almost impossible for three to do nice. Because of the standard law, or don't suffer from all kinds of inferiority complex. Or don't have self-esteem law, or don't have the self-worth. And don't seem like you suffer from some grand scheme and skill um Stockholm syndrome. And it's like you don't in love with the captain now. And you don't demand bad treatment. You don't have a girl that will say, if you want to beat me, you don't love me. So somebody come and say, this wrong. I'll be like, but the people didn't do that wrong to like, oh, so no, wrong is the standard. Okay, cool, carry on. God, it, it, sometimes it really hurts for me, Jamaica. It hurt, it hurt for, I want me to say hurt, maybe like, It but a shame. But feel very proud for the Jamaican. I feel very, very proud to be Jamaican. Because there are many things about us where we where we deliberate about. We work. We work and build our reputation, our culture. Right? I I'm very proud of most parts of us. But when we say we hurt sometimes to be Jamaican and when we listen to the collective reasoning and it's so low. When we listen to the collective, like the intellectual pool, it's like half inch and it's full of morass, pure bacteria, and it's stagnant. No oxygen. And then, when we look at it, say, there's an abundance of water. But are we dumb the pool? And divert the water? Me shame. Me shame for seaweed at the bottom of the murk. A cuss and fight one another over the murk. Seeing that we have allowed the majority of us to be in the murk and the minority to be on the outside enjoying the flow from the redirected stream machine join our conversation and stop trying to create your own we are talking about jamaica and development and improvement falling just listen 
and enjoy this conversation. Don't create your own. Don't create your own. You're welcome here. Don't divert and don't distract. Me not like that. Me go go to bed. Somebody else go live. So they can go and go talk to each other. About different things than when they go live about. <laughs> and Jamaica, me love you. Jamaica people, me love you the bad. Mario! Big up yourself. Big up your daddy for me. I really, really love my place. I love Jamaica bad. So far, I'm not going nowhere yet. I'm not going nowhere else yet. When me would have preferred to live than Yasso. And sometimes we forget. Sometimes, you know, like when you live somewhere, you take it for granted when you have something. When you have enough of things, yeah, man, Mario. Love you, brother. Sometimes when we have enough of things, we take it for granted. Right? We take it for granted. You're from Belgium. Big up Belgium. Big up Jasmine from Belgium. When you're very close to something, like everybody I talk to across the world, when they, when they see me, like if I go live from sunrise and sunset, I stop go live with it because it becomes everything else except what I'm doing. But I will go live for sunrise and people say, oh my God, I don't have that and them, and them beat down from them place and talk up about mine. And you know what? Them don't look around them to see the good thing with them have. Because if they come from which part they come from, I see them way better feel, but I just, but I just fix it for the good things that they have this up. So that's why enough Jamaicans now fight for Jamaica. Because they're foreign man. They feel like as somewhere else they should have it. They feel like they feel migrate to somewhere else. Granted, a lot of Jamaicans leave for opportunity because we don't offer everybody enough opportunity. And I, I respect and appreciate that. But the, the fact that some of us have actually pinned our entire existence against the possibility of being somewhere else, against relocation, it means say. Uh, it means that we're not going to really fight for this. We're not going to bat for this. Because. Then if you accept things for what it is and fight for it, make it what it can be, Mario. Because enough things just can be better. With minimum effort. Minimum effort. But you see, because we look and say, you know what? I don't have to put up with this. You know, I move to live in America. I move to live in England. I move to live in Canada. And then there are three places where most Jamaicans run go. And it's easier to them to try to find a way. They will, they will fight their way through Mexico. They will cut cross, go bellies, go through Mexico. Just to avoid putting a little work. So they will, they will risk a dead and an organ cell. Just to avoid putting a little elbow grease right here. So. And then few of us are exposed to formal education. Some of us don't work as hard as we do elsewhere for what we want. Yes, and that multifaceted too, you know, because when you go elsewhere and work hard, you get compensated. But in there, yes, so the, the government brag and campaign for the fact that they raise the minimum wage to 100 US dollar a week. 100 dollar a week. Right? Meanwhile, they raise for them pay by millions. So apart, that will inspire somebody to want to run away. And I am never going to judge you for that. Because your personal development. Is still key but collectively we have not been attaching ourselves to Jamaica as our place no the only time we ever attach to Jamaica and call it our place are when we are fight other people feet when we are say cultural appropriation that's mine even though the people have a constant say cultural appropriation they really help to create what they are cost about if you if you look at who are war just in Bibafi, in music or Shiran or whatever more of them they feel their music. Somebody for some brains. How do people come up with them? But when we dare so, you see that same energy you now we put out the soft fight other people because a bad mind that you know that they have not often doing. We be mad about cultural appreciation appre uh, uh, appropriation. We just vex because them people have made money. Because if they didn't have money we wouldn't give a fuck. If they never hype our famous half fight and a bit body, we will give a fuck. 
if a poor one tea fit and stay poor, we cool. But the moment one rich one tea fit and if he's already rich, now we start to say everything we have a man. That is bad man. You see, if you put half of that the energy in developing our own product and maintaining our product or our human product, um, we pick the them. We pick the them full of talent, in, ta a talent and then I know where we put it. Because we don't care. We don't care about them. All we do around them and tell them to shut up their mouth. So they create their own avenues and then fill them avenue not as wholesome as what we don't like. So we start cussing them again. So they nasty. Like, that's all clear. Me I broke it and got my bed. We love you. Have a great night. I hope you get some rest. Drink enough water. Avoid alcohol. Don't follow me. Do as I say. Not as I do. Drink more water. Get more rest. Stress less. Love more. Right? I'm taking on yourself and each other and see if we can make one, one nicer place for living now. Alright, tomorrow is Sky Star Music. Big up yourself. Look up more here. You're opening the show for me in Edmonton? Cool. Alright, see you in a few. Later. Alright, Mario, look more. Big, remember, big up your father, big up your sister. Big up your, your sibling, them. All of them. Love you. Alright, bad scene.